welcome to Rocky Mountain National Park. I'm out here backpacking for the weekend with my friends Falcon Pika, who you guys have met if you've watched their interview. So if you haven't, go back and watch those. But we came out on Friday evening after work. It's now Sunday. We've been having such a great time. We've done this really cool loop with some out and back starting at the Colorado River Trailhead, which is in the northwest side of the park. This has been a trip of wins and losses. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. We got caught in a hail and rainstorm, which we luckily got to camp just as it started. So we got to set up, wait out the rainstorm, wait out the hail in our tents, dry and cozy, and then head up to one of the most beautiful places I've been in Colorado, which was Thunder Pass. I was just blown away by this area of the park. At the same time, that same day, we tried to go to a different lake, Lake of the Clouds, ended up turning around because the trail was so poorly marked. We really didn't know where we were going and we had to cross this huge boulder field. So it's definitely been a weekend of adventure. So I just wanted to take you guys along on the trip and show you a little bit about it and let you know how to get a permit to backpack in Rocky Mountain National Park if that's something you'd like to do perhaps next year. And hey guys, I'm Audrey on Tribe Known as Glow Stick. In 2018, I quit my amazing job in Washington, Washington DC through like the Appalachian Trail from Georgia to Maine. And now I live in the best state ever, Colorado, where this is my life every weekend, pretty much. So anyway, I just wanted to take you guys along on my trip to, through Rocky Mountain and tell you a little bit more about it and show you just the incredible places I've been this weekend. So come along, let's go, let's get into the hiking. So first of all, I wanted to mention that the easiest and quickest way to get to this trailhead, the Colorado River Trailhead from Boulder, is to take the Trail Ridge Road through Rocky Mountain National Park. This road is so pretty, but it's a little scary to drive on because on some sides, the road just tends to drop off into a cliff. But the views are absolutely incredible, and a lot of visitors to Rocky Mountain National Park just like to drive this road for the fun of it, just for the scenery. And there's actually a visitor center on this road, which is way nicer and bigger than the other visitor centers that I've been in in Rocky Mountain National Park, with like a little cafe and a little coffee shop and the gift shop and... It's super nice and I've heard a lot of people ask me like, have you, oh, have you taken out this road? It's only open seasonally, it's only open in the summer because it would be far too dangerous to be open when there's snow, but I've never done it and now I have to get to this trailhead. So highly recommend taking that drive if you like to drive. The second thing I would like to know is that you have to get wilderness permits to backpack in Rocky Mountain National Park to stay overnight in Rocky Mountain National Park any time of the year. Obviously the most competitive times of the year to get these backpacking permits because Rocky Mountain National Park is one of the more visited national parks in the United States. So we get a lot of visitors and you know it's competitive to get a backpacking permit. Anyway, the most competitive time of year is in the summer, specifically July through October. They issue permits for backpacking during these months through a lottery system. So basically in the springtime, in 2021, it was in late March, you have to put your name into a lottery in order to get wilderness permits in Rocky Mountain National Park. Then they draw names from the lottery. Luckily, mine was one of them. And then I had to put in requests for the dates that I wanted to backpack and which camping sites that I wanted during those dates. And then I had to wait to see if those camping sites were approved. Luckily, mine were. My friends and I chose a section of the park that's not as heavily trafficked. For example, the Barrel Lake Corridor is the most popular area of the park, so it would be very, very difficult to get wilderness permits, especially on summer weekends for that area. Anyway, so if you're interested in backpacking in Rocky Mountain National Park, you need to plan way ahead of time. Probably if you wanna go next summer, you need to be prepared in the very early spring to put your name into the ring for that trip and make sure you have the trip planned ahead of time because they only give you a few days once they draw your name to actually submit your, your request for your backpacking trip. And then of course there are all sorts of rules and regulations that go along with that backpacking permit. I actually had to physically go to the wilderness office ahead of my trip and pick up my permit and listen to the rules and regulations and talk them through like making sure that I had the proper bear storage container, etc. Then I had to leave part of my permit in my car and then have part of it on my backpack at all times, except when I was camping, in which case I had to have it on my tent. And there were rangers out in the backcountry checking to make sure I had my permit and my bear storage container. 
So certainly there is some red tape that you have to go through in order to backpack in Rocky Mountain National Park, but I will say it is totally, totally worth it. A word of warning though, bears are not the only animals you have to worry about in the backcountry. My shoe got eaten up, nibbled on by a little cute little pika in the middle of the night who also stole the strap of Valk's trekking pole. What a little jerk. And you also might have the chance to see elk, moose, marmots, etc. We kept hearing there were moose in this area, but we missed them. Unfortunately, we did see some elk and some deer though. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate your support and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't be afraid to leave a comment or a question if you have one. I always love engagement and interacting with you guys, so don't be shy about that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more AT, hiking, backpacking, Colorado content. Happy hiking. I'll talk to you guys later.